I'm about sailing the caves. You brought me here because you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming with the Rippers, the one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on not. either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. The place is locked up tight. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. Okay, all right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't. Uh, I did the last time you were out. Shit. That's tough. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. That's all. Let's go. Right behind you. Stay down. Freaks. Bringing the whole goddamn town down. Freakers. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. About the rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit. No, Nick. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill.
kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill whippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look, here's the thing, Dee. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. you but uh i could use a hand uh. <laughs> you lay down <laughs> yes ma'am he can't have visitors uh. just yet but uh i could really use a hand okay i'll see you later i'll be here hey doc doc seriously though um will i be able to play piano after all this is over very funny william lay down <laughs> okay i can play chopsticks no, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, i got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, 
that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check mm. out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can wreck. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I hit the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you? Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addie. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. He just wanted out of marsh duty. OK, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. 
Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Hmm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago.
Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. I have any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. <laughs> a few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addy was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay. <sighs> okay, got it. Up there. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. <sighs> Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Burn it down. Ready? Oh, yeah. More up here. Burn it down. Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, 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 you're gonna be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke, come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, uh, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. What? No, hey. Hey! Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... 
Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Stay put and keep your head down. Stop. Are you? How long have you been a camper? I can't. Shit. Well, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? You're here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? You can all just go straight to hell. Oh, yeah, nice and move down there for you, huh? I think that's the last of them. I've seen rivers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on. Let's go. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Hey, I gotta ask you something. 
Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. You got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the Army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by, the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, I spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh, Yeah, yeah, okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who you're talking about. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? Oh, God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear it because we wear it. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. 
Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I You're his friend. The only one he's got. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map. I'll go get the explosives and Mike, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you days? Know, huh? Hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Such knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing out black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know if the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah, Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. I'll get them Got it. We finally agree on something. Hey, over here. 
think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. It's just getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, more. hey, hey, I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. And they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Shit, now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You dropping flare. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. You 
go left here. Got it. Come here. What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? Few lines I haven't crossed. That's one of them. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Back on track. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Oh, now, wait a minute, God damn it! This is the main tunnel. What? It's the the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did the... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Guess who put that thing away? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Ah! Get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit!
hell is he thinking? He's gonna bring the whole goddamn mind down on us. Oh, Schizo! Schizo, stop shooting! What? Tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rock at him? Supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are we ready to fucking finish this? Yeah, I'm ready. This way. So, he grows off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongrels. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him, but he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? It gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have, and after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. I got this. Yeah. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. So, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, bite. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Biden out there. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Come on. Find him. Find him. 